So I had this story to tell about <clears throat> Edgar Meyer. And it's about a story where I was talking to somebody after a concert. And he asked me, you know, a few simple questions. And, you know, he was like, oh, you know, great job. By the way, who did you study with? And I said, when I was at Curtis, I studied with Hal Robinson, uh, which he knew. And I also studied with Edgar Meyer, which is another bass player he knew. Um, but for some reason, Edgar Meyer caught his attention. And he started talking about his opinion of him. Um, and... As you know, Edgar Meyer is a versatile bass player. And during our conversation, I was telling him that, yeah, uh, he is a versatile player. He plays all sorts of music like, you know, jazz, bluegrass, and, you know, not he's not just classical. And he, and he said to me, <clears throat> um, in kind of a condescending way that, oh, yeah, I'm aware that Edgar plays that corny music called bluegrass um i guess he said i guess he said he told me that it helps pay the bills and something like that um but you know this guy i was talking to he obviously was giving much more value to classical music compared to all the other genres of music And, you know, that when I was listening to him, I, I was I was kind of like, OK, but inside I was like. No, yeah, I was I wasn't feeling it like I I don't really agree that certain styles of music are just plain corny. Um, I'm aware that in a classical music industry that, yes. You know, we joke around about, you know, other class styles of music. I, I guess when we hear songs on the radio, like pop singers or, you know, or I, I guess bluegrass now, I guess all of that's corny music. What does that make classical music? Does, is classical music that special? And I, and I, that's, that's a question I had after this conversation is, you know... Because the guy he I in that concert I played the uh, the p the the piano reduction arrangement of the Bottasini Concerto Number no. Two, uh, which is a the standard concerto for double bass, and he, the guy who listened to that piece he's he's really you know a, a piece like Bottasini, which is a classical concerto, it, that's that's all this guy cared about and everything else was just like a waste of time, I guess. I don't know. But I I just I don't understand the reason why classical I mean to this guy, I don't know about you or anybody else. For me personally, I any I, you know, honestly, I, I listen to other styles of music more than classical. Uh, when I'm on, when I'm on a road trip, I, 99% of the time, I will not listen to classical music at all. Actually, the, the genre I listen to mostly at, that a lot of people don't know that can't relate to is called drum and bass. Uh, and one of the artists I really look up to is, um, you know, his, his stage name is Apex Twin. Yeah, it's really cool, cool music, and that—that's the kind of music where I can relax and just enjoy and and not and just just have fun with. It's, it's, and, and when it comes to classical, I really love classical music. It's, I really love the Bach Inventions. I love the Bach Inventions and the Goldberg Variations. I really like that kind of um, music, uh, especially when I'm stu when I, I guess when I was studying in school, I listened to it all the time, but. You know, nowadays, you know, when I think about that kind of music, I kind of get, ugh, like, I, I don't really, I'm not really into it because of the social stigma around it. Like, 
It's not. It's not that fun anymore. It, it's. So yeah, I mean, I, I just thought, you know, while I'm eating my breakfast here, I got my potatoes, so I'd make a video about that. Because when I was walking down the street to get breakfast, you know, this, this story came back, it crept back, crept back up on me again, haunted me, um, be, because I was actually thinking about recording some music that, that's a little out there, uh, that could be considered corny. And I don't, I don't want to make anybody angry for, for making music that could be considered corny. Um, but I was thinking about doing something, like a project. Uh, you know, I, I honestly, like the music I compose, a lot of it is different styles of music other than classical. Like I have some Persian music. I have some Irish music. I have some Chinese music. Um, I do use bluegrass. I, I do have country um, influences that I have in the music, some hip hop, some R and B, you know, a little bit of everything. And so, you know, and so, and I noticed the more and more I write, the more and more I'm straying away from the classical norm. Um, and I, and I, and it feels great. I feel like I'm writing music that I actually feel more comfortable with. You know, when I first started writing music, it was, I, I tried so much to write in the classical style uh, because I wanted to, the idea was I wanted to be taken seriously as a classical composer. Uh, because of how highly people valued classical music. And so that's why I did that. But what, that over time, I, I was just like, you know what, the heck with it. <laughs> and and that's why I'll, a lot of the recent compositions I have today are really, um, they're really, they're really, have nothing to do with classical music. Like the most recent piece I have, um, called "Always on the Move," I take music that I've been that I was inspired by when I watched shows like CSI Miami or The X Files. Uh, you know, in the second movement of that piece, it's totally influenced by X Files music. It's and that kind of stuff I really like, and the audience really appreciates that too, because that's something they can really relate to. But but yeah, I just thought I had make a video about that. I mean, a, a, a question for you is is um, are are you are you playing classical music because of the fact that you think it's a higher form of art? And uh, I guess I'll end this here. Um, take care.